Welcome back to New Record Day, my name is Ron. If you consider yourself an audiophile, hi-fi enthusiast, or music junkie, well, welcome home. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification so you know when the next video drops. And today's video is a review of the Skahit Audio, if you have a sense of humor, and if you don't, Shit Audio, Freya Plus. Folks, let's get this show started, but before we do, a quick word from today's video sponsor. Buying cables for hi-fi equipment doesn't need to be complicated, and today's show sponsor, AudioArt Cable, is here to help with a wide range of cables for every budget. Now, NRD is no stranger to audio art cables. In the past, we have reviewed their classic line and even took their award-winning statement series for a spin. Both of those reviews will be linked in the description down below. When we asked Rob Fritz of Audio Art Cable to hook us up with the goods for this review, he recommended an entire loom of Cryo E2 cables, including their I IC3 E2 interconnects, and SC5 E2 speaker cables. Keeping my integrity in check and knowing Audio Art is sponsoring this show, I'll spare you guys with the hyperbole and leave it at this. I do believe that cables can make a difference, and I do recommend Audio Art cables lineup without hesitation. Last, Rob has graciously offered you guys 20% off any cables using coupon code NRD. So yeah, if you need cables and you want to save some money as well, now is your chance. That is certainly cool of Audio Art Cable to sponsor today's video. Rob, I certainly do appreciate it. And it's super cool that you're willing to offer up a coupon code for those that do want to dive into upgrading your cables. Links are provided down below. And uh, yeah, getting that all out of the way, let's go ahead and talk about the Shit Audio Freya Plus. The Freya Plus is an interesting preamplifier. This passive or active solid state, or yes, tube preamplifier gives listeners a chance to enjoy a wide array of tonal possibilities and best of all, comes with a price tag of 899 bucks that won't break the bank. The first thing that impressed me about the Freya Plus was the looks. The enclosure is beautiful to look at and its sleek styling makes this guy stand out from the crowd of typical black boxes we often see when shopping for hi-fi products. The front panel layout offers a minimal look as well and learning the functions only takes a few minutes. After turning the preamp on, there is a warm-up sequence that takes place and lasts about 30 seconds. To the far left of the preamp, there is a button that allows you to mute the preamp, and just to the right, another that changes the preamp modes. The first preamp mode before pressing the button means the preamp is in passive mode. Pressing one time engages the solid state buffer. Press it again, and you'll engage the tubes that are included with the preamp, and you're ready to rock and roll. Speaking of tubes, the Freya Plus comes with a quartet of JJ branded 6SN7 tubes and throughout the review process, they stayed put and I never felt the desire to tube roll. Now, if I was actually gonna buy this thing, you better believe that I would certainly give this a shot as I think that tube rolling can make a difference, but I gotta say, and be totally honest with you guys, the JJ sounded just fine to me. To the right of the preamp mode button, there is a stepped attenuator volume control that sounds quite noisy when turning it. Don't worry, your preamp is fine. It's not broken. This is totally normal. Either way, channel balance on the Freya Plus was perfectly tack sharp throughout the review process, so I don't know about you guys, I'll take a noisy attenuator as a fair trade. To the right of the volume knob, the last button on the Freya Plus is the input selector, giving you up to five components that you can feed to this guy. Taking a look at the business end, the Freya Plus offers a standard IEC power plug, which can be configured as needed during checkout. To the left, there is a toggle switch for power, and beyond that, we find a pair of single-ended outputs, and believe it or not, a set of balanced outputs. Yeah, that's not all that common and refreshing to see on a preamp that doesn't cost as much as a car, or even a house. Past the outputs, the Freya Plus offers three sets of single-ended inputs and a pair of XLR inputs as well. Last, the Freya Plus even includes a remote control and all the functions discussed can easily be accessed without leaving the comfort of your couch. Also, these remotes are made out of metal and they're even magnetic, which was super handy as my kiddos love jacking all of my remotes and this made life so much easier on dad. So yeah, Taking everything into consideration, this preamp seems like a no-brainer, and the only thing left to do is to take this thing for a spin and tell you guys how it actually sounds, and with a warm welcome back to New Record Day, that is exactly what we are going to do. All right, so now that you guys have a better understanding of the functionality of the preamplifier, all the features, what it comes with, I wanna spend some time talking about 
how it sounds. And I think a great place to start is the three different modes. And that's where we're gonna be concentrating a lot of our attention in today's review. Now, Shit Audio also sent over the Bifrost 2, which there will be a separate review for that guy very soon. And they sent me a pair of their Aegir monoblocks, and there will be a separate review of those. So, this is not going to be the type of 45 minute review where I'm covering everything all at one time. I decided to break it up in chunks so by the time we get to the end of it, you'll have a better understanding of how all of these pieces work independently and how they sound on their own. Now I've had a lot of passive preamplifiers in the past and I'm very familiar with them and they're great in some ways, but yet at the same time, they actually have some drawbacks that you need to know about, that you need to understand if that's the direction that you wanna go. The fact that this has a built-in option to run this as passive, and you have two other modes that we're gonna talk about in just a minute, that is pretty impressive. And it's gonna allow you to experience something that I've experienced in the past, but I had to buy a specific unit just to have that one feature, which was basically no features. There's no gain. It's just a volume knob and an output and not much in between, sometimes nothing in between. And therein lies a problem. When you really don't have any kind of a gain structure at all, there is nothing in between the volume knob and the output. You might think that is a perfect scenario, but I'm here to tell you based on my experience, no, not always. And a lot of the passive preamplifiers that I have listened to in the past, they suffer in one major category, and that is a lack of dynamics. So with the Freya Plus, this was one of the very first things that I wanted to know, is in the passive mode, can you guys expect a passive that behaves a lot like other passives that I have heard in the past. And being honest and being truthful, it is. I think that comparing the passive mode that is stuffed inside the Freya Plus to the other modes that we're gonna be talking about, you quickly realize that of those modes, it is the least dynamic, the least engaging, and if you're looking for soul in the music, if you're looking for that lit from within character, well, I've got good news for you. It's not stuck in passive mode, so press the button and we'll move on. But before we do, I don't wanna just badmouth the passive mode as if it's the worst thing ever because that's not true. The passive mode, it does have a function. And there were times as I've been making my way through a lot of different speakers and combinations that the passive mode was exactly what I needed. So let's talk about the benefits of the passive mode. A passive mode is essentially a straight wire. It is saying, whatever you're gonna give to me is what you're gonna get. That's exactly what I've heard as I've made my way through a lot of different combinations, including the shit stack, which we're obviously talking about today, meaning the Freya Plus, the Bifrost 2, and a pair of Aegers. Resolution is what you're gonna find in the passive mode. And I think that of the three modes, if you want it squeaky clean and you are willing to sacrifice some dynamics, you're willing to sacrifice a little bit of heft and weight in the midband, and you're willing to sacrifice the lit from within character, the holographic 3D sound stage that we're gonna be talking about when we get to the tubes, then you have it. And that's not a bad thing because you're not stuck with it. You can, again, press a button and then move on to a different mode if you would like. If I was to buy any preamplifier today and knowing what I know about a passive preamplifier versus an active circuit in a preamplifier, I would want something like this where I get to decide based on my mood for the day or based on whatever gear that I am hooking up to it, including all the way down to the speaker, that when I want, I can go ahead and just choose resolution. And even if I have to sacrifice dynamics, then so be it, I'm cool with that. And one more point that I wanna make before we move on from the passive, keep in mind this, based on what I've heard in the passive mode of the Freya Plus, it is just as squeaky clean and packed full of resolution as any of the other passive preamps that I've used or owned or reviewed in the past. 
And here's the real funny thing about it is all of those are as much as the Freya Plus, if not more. So how's that for value? Okay, so you don't care so much about squeaky clean resolution and you don't like what I have to say about dynamics. Is there a button that you can press to help move things in a more dynamic direction? The answer is yes, you can. You press the button one time and now we're gonna talk about this active mode within the Freya Plus. I see what you guys did. I have a little bit more meat on the bones in the mid-range. I have a little bit more heft and weight in the mid-base, and I have a little bit more control and grip on base. And I have a little bit more dynamics to work with. And this was actually quite refreshing, to be honest with you, because when I first got this guy in and I saw Okay, we've got passive, we have an active circuit that is still unity gain, so it's not like there's a big change in volume or anything like that. I think it's just a little bit, just a little bit louder than the passive mode, a smidge. Either way, I kept thinking to myself, why, who cares? Why wouldn't I just go passive in tubes? And I gotta tell you, of all of the modes in the Freya Plus, that active mode ended up kind of being a sleeper for me because I thought it's kind of like a passive preamp, but it's superior in my opinion in just about every way because it gives me that resolution that I'm finding in the passive mode, but at the same time, I'm getting just a little bit more soul in the music and I'm starting to hear a bit more dynamic content as well. And so now we take a step back and we have two things that we can chat about in the Freya Plus. We have this passive mode that based on my memory, based on my experience, based on everything that I can say in all honesty, the passive mode in this is just as good as anything passive that I've ever heard. And a lot of those preamps, like I mentioned, are just as much as the Freya, if not more, but we're not gonna talk about that. And then we have this active circuit that is unity gain, so it's not passive, but it it's a lot like the passive mode. It's just, in my opinion, superior in every way because now we have some real dynamics that we can work with, and now we have a little bit more heft and weight in the midband. And yet, the price isn't being jacked up as we're chatting. This isn't one of those reviews where I'm like, and behind this door, you get this, but you have to pay more. No, no, under 900 bucks, and we've just checkmarked two pretty killer things, and we haven't even gotten to the dessert. We're not full yet. We want something else, and we want we want the best to be last, so what else do you have for us? Shit audio? Skehi audio from Norway? <laughs> Moving on, we get to the holy grail. Let's, let's get real about this. I could have fired up the camera today and say, guys, it's got passive and it's got this unity gain active buffer in it, but let's just talk about the tubes. And I think that this video would have been just as successful as me trying to flesh out everything that is before talking about why I think most people are probably going to buy the Freya Plus. Here is the thing I love, and I cannot stress it enough, I love what tubes do to music. And essentially folks, if you have not had the chance to experience what tubes can do to music, I invite you to do it for 899 bucks. I'm starting to sound like a sales rep for shit audio, but I'm not. I'm not here to sell you anything, but what I am going to tell you is this topology, this, the way that they have voiced this preamp, it's gonna get you there. It's gonna get you to the finish line and you will be able to hear what I chit chat about on this channel when I'm talking about what tubes can do to music. And you might be thinking, well, Ron, yeah, I mean, if it has tubes, then all tube preamps and power amps are gonna do that. And that is where you would be mistaken. Because let me tell you something, there are a lot of tube amplifiers out there, probably your grandpa's tube amplifier. It doesn't sound like this. It's gonna have a soft top end and it might suck when it comes to bass town. It's not gonna be able to deliver 
really big punches right in the gut and it's gonna have a beautiful glowy midband and that's what your grandpa's gonna talk about is I remember the days when the midband was all that we cared about and he's not wrong but it's 2020 and it's time to talk about things outside of just the mid-range and the good news is this it gets you to the finish line and no I'm not going to jump into hyperbole and say, it's a giant killer. It's better than all of the really expensive stuff. No, no, it's not. But I will say this, if we're talking about preamplifiers, tube preamplifiers, moving up to $5,000, this will not leave that party embarrassed. I can promise you that. And I would go as far as to say, that's even with the stock JJs, which these are fine, but for crying out loud, throw in some NOS tubes and let's dance. So getting my long-winded rambling out of the way, let's go ahead and just explain how it sounds. As you apply gain to a signal, and in this case, you are applying gain that is being fed from tubes, something magical happens to music. What used to be paper cutouts of music, you now actually have weight and body and texture, and most importantly, holographic type images that you're able to just kind of sit back and say that's creepy because now I have the Beatles playing in my living room and I thought they were gone you will be rewarded with a holographic type presentation and it will not come at the cost of a top end that is soft or relaxed it's there it's all there it's where it needs to be and better yet, plenty of dynamics and slam down below. So this is what I really wanted to hear in this guy, is what I wanted to hear is, if you're gonna give me a quartet of 6S and 7 tubes, please do not give me a warmish, creamy, saturated tube sound. Please do not do that. Keep the integrity of the music there. And let me just hear what tubes can do when tubes are really working their magic, which is just taking everything and giving you this magical thing called soundstage. And at the end of the day, no matter how we slice this bread, I'm going to tell you in all honesty that that is exactly what I got out of the Freya Plus. I know that this was quite a bit shorter than a lot of my reviews. I didn't talk for the next 45 minutes about this thing. And I'm not going to because the truth is, that's it. That is honestly what you can expect from the Freya Plus. Passive mode, I found that you have the most amount of resolution, perhaps the coldest sounding of the three options. You are gonna suffer in the dynamics department. It is what it is. You press the button one time, you move into the active buffered mode and you're gonna get some meat on the bones in mid-range, you're gonna get some heft and some weight in mid-bass, and you're gonna get some better control and grip in the bass, and you're gonna hear some more dynamic content. Great, you press the button again, the tubes fire up, and within 30 to 45 seconds, there is no going back. Welcome to Hi-Fi. Tubes, absolutely, without a doubt, rule that's my opinion and shit audio they landed the jumbo jet on the runway when it came to doing it right the freya plus is a no joke preamplifier easily comes with a recommendation and we didn't even need to get into the nitty gritty of it's freaking balanced it i mean <sighs> It's almost like the shit audio guys are just sitting there just laughing the entire time in the office like, or you're gonna go to Best Buy and, and get a Sony. Okay. <laughs> oh. Hey, Bob, Jack went and got a Sony from Best Buy. <laughs> I mean, I really think that's how they spend all of their time at shit audio is laughing at the bozos that just don't don't get into this because this 
is where I would be investing my money if I was getting into hi-fi all over again. Shit Audio, thank you so much for sending this guy out to me. You cannot have it back yet. Not yet. Sorry, not sorry. Because here's the plan moving forward. We're gonna review the Bifrost, just like we did this guy, short and sweet, to the point, and then we're gonna get to the Aegers again, short and sweet, to the point, and then we're gonna do some sound clips with commentary of the entire stack, and we're gonna cycle through a bunch of different speakers so you guys know what this stuff can actually do, and you better believe me that I'll be switching modes and being a mad scientist, and you guys will be along for the ride because this is new record day, and that's how we do things. Thank you so much for stopping by. We certainly do appreciate it. Don't forget the 20% coupon if you're into cables and Rob Fritz, audio art cable. Thank you so much for helping us out and sponsoring the video. I certainly do appreciate it. And uh, yeah, Freya Plus, legit, too legit to quit. Get one, get, get three of them. I don't know why. I just said that, that was weird. Why, why would they need three? I should be marketing for Skahit Audio. Buy three, <laughs> why not? That would be the tagline, buy three, why not?